Hi guys, welcome to your Monday morning uh, video update for the FX majors and the dollar index. Uh, going into the week 16th for se September 2019, going to talk about the dollar index to start with, uh, then move on to the FX majors, uh, talking about relevant support and resistance levels, and basically what we're looking uh, to happen uh, in the uh, major currency pairs over the next couple of days and week. So starting off with uh, the dollar index. I suppose this is probably the most important chart. This is the daily chart. Looks like an ending uh, upward wedge formation to a break of this support line, which comes in around about 97.75, and we look for a measured move down here uh, towards 95.85. Still pretty mixed and volatile trading. When we go to this time frame, and this is the uh, four hour time frame. We can see these big spikes in both directions. Um, obviously one of them caused by the ECB. Um, so we're getting this gyrating uh, price action. What is quite important is that uh, the open overnight uh, has pushed higher uh, from a previous support level. So there's nothing really to say uh, from this time frame that we're not gonna get more dollar gains. But because of that evening star formation, because of that ending wedge formation, we still look to sell into dollar gains uh, for uh, the majority of the FX majors. So just looking at Euro dollar here, we've stalled at this trend uh, of lower highs uh, last week. We're starting to see some downward pressure. What have we got here that's bullish? Well, to start with, we've got an expanding wedge formation. So if we draw a line down there and then obviously this trend line and that has bias to break to the upside we've also got a double bottom uh, formation on euro dollar that was confirmed with a break uh, of this level here we've also got a bullish outside candle on the daily chart so three different factors that should push euro dollar higher but thinking about that dollar index uh, we've got scope for some downward pressure we've got a pretty solid support level uh, today at 110.50, 110.47, uh, and then we've got resistance to the upside located at 111.40. Now sterling is a uh, different scenario uh, than uh, than euro dollar, and if we look to euro sterling, which we will do in a while, uh, euro gains we expect this week to be stronger uh, than sterling gains. So we're flipping. Uh, that bias and with that in mind we've got the potential for a much larger uh, correction in sterling dollar even breaking down into shorter time frames I can't get any sort of wave count uh, on this uh, major currency pair what I do know is that it's broken out of this wedge formation to the upside the measured move target is up here 127.83 I've got some bespoke resistance at 126.30 we are seeing a move lower overnight We've got support located at 122.85. So the possibility for a much larger uh, correction to the downside in uh, sterling dollar uh, than euro dollar. Going to dollar Swiss, and this is just a large channel formation. You can see these DMARC 13 counts posted at the highs and lows. Uh, what's happened is we have had a move lower overnight. I believe we've had the gap open now. Uh, closed. We've got some bespoke resistance at 98.97. Um, signals aren't strong in this currency pair. We are looking at selling into rallies uh, with a move lower down here uh, towards the 261.8% FIB uh, at 97.05. Like I said, signals in this currency pair uh, are far from strong. Euro, uh, sorry, dollar yen. Now, a breakout of this trend. Uh, line resistance and then an impulsive move to the upside. We've stalled at the 161.8% Fib level at 108.06. That would make us believe uh, that this move to the downside and this gap break lower as well to the downside is still corrective. We can see that this was the open, so we've had quite an aggressive move higher already. So these dips still attracting buying interest, but we believe the scope for another move to the downside. Uh, we've got a 38.2% FIB level located at 107.23. Uh, we've got our bespoke support located at 107.18. Now, if we go to dollar CAD, this is a wedge breakout, uh, a retest of that wedge, red, red, red <laughs> wedge breakout was seen on uh, Friday. 
and then obviously all the turmoil over the weekend with uh, the Saudi uh, oil has seen uh, a very large gap open uh, in dollar CAD. However, we're looking uh, like we're going to close or potentially close some of that gap. We've got bespoke resistance located at 132.60 uh, today, and then we've got support down at 131.40. Aussie dollar stalled at a 50% uh, pullback level. Um, we're actually looking for a move lower today. We've got some bespoke resistance located at 68.77. So we've triggered a short in early trade. Uh, we've obviously got some trend line or reverse trend line support coming in at 67.82. Um, but we've got solid uh, weekly uh, support in Aussie dollar uh, located at 67.50. Euro sterling. I'm showing this time frame first, pretty mixed volatile trading. Okay, trying to get wave patterns on here uh, has been nine impossible. Uh, what I do know is that this week here, uh, which was the 12th of August uh, 2019, posted a bearish outside candle, and that candle often indicates the end of a trend and the start of a new downward bias. We've broken into uh, back into this triangle formation, but the most important time frame here is is this one, which is the this is actually the eight hour time frame. We've got an AB equals CD formation target here at 88.42. We've got trend line support located at 88.51. We've got our bespoke support at 88.45. We're looking for a corrective uh, move to the upside with a possible move uh, back up towards this area here which is trend line resistance it's also previous swing high and it's also somewhere that's been quite pivotal so we're trying to get in on a dip early this morning um, just hoping that that rally is not already uh, underway euro yen and again uh, we've had a decent move to the upside we've had that gap open thinking about correlation in both of these currency pairs euro dollar we're looking at buying into dips dollar yen we're looking at buying into dips so euro yen We've got to be looking at buying into dips. We've got some bespoke support uh, located today at 118.50, but we've also got some bespoke resistance located at 119.75. Um, so the rally in uh, euro yen could also uh, be limited. Okay, uh, I hope you have enjoyed that video analysis, uh, and we'll be back again soon uh, with some more. Many thanks.